Merry Christmas, everybody. Hopefully you guys are enjoying your holiday. Hopefully you guys are hanging out with some friends and family, getting some good gifts. Hopefully you guys got some snakes or new reptiles. I know there's a lot of people out there that don't like uh, animals as gifts for uh, uh, on Christmas, but I think we're all pretty responsible. So I really don't have any issues of that um, if you take care of them. So um, I got two crazy snakes out right now. I got one that will bite me right in the face um, because she knows there's food in here and she hates me anyways. And then here's Pop-Tart. I, I, I left this open and then five seconds later she wants to come out and inter tangle herself into the mess of wires. So that is what I'm dealing with right now. We're going to be feeding the four of these boas, um, possibly the berm. If I have enough and then pop tart so here's the food the selection we got one more over here so uh, I don't know what's going on so this is kind of like live action right here <laughs> uh, a little dark back here I do apologize I don't know why she's getting all crazy but I got out a medium rat for her because that's what I was kind of giving her normally and then when i laid out the the, the food uh it, and then i came in here it just didn't look that like a right size so here's the argentine boa so i laid out an extra large rat and i'm feeding the large rats to her which her body structure is pretty much the same now that i look at it as pop tarts and i don't know where my here we go, snake hook. So, yeah, you guys get to see a bunch of a mess. So, this girl right here, um, if you've been following the channel, she has these paper towels up here because she strikes the glass. She's very defensive slash aggressive about where she lives. And me going over here, grabbing her, if she's out a little bit, she would probably... Uh, try to bite me so we're just gonna close that really fast keep an eye on her and then we'll open this uh, again so I'm gonna feed her really fast and we're gonna feed her a pretty large meal so she definitely deserves it she's pretty cranky a lot but we'll uh, we'll see what happens and I really do want to get longer uh, feeding tongs because I really don't want to get bit, but this girl is beautiful. I know the lighting sucks and I do need to clean out her cage. So she's going to eat that large rat. We'll just go ahead and feed Pop-Tart right now. So. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm really thinking that I'm going to feed her because these are the mediums right here. And that like barely fits. So, I mean, this large is like for real, no joke. But you can see right there that it is the width of her body. So I really think that would be a good, um, I think that would be a good meal. So. She's a little skittish right now, which is kind of interesting, and I don't know why. Um, again, I do apologize for the craziness and this being like live action right now, but I really want her out here, and I normally don't ever feed her out of her cage, but I just want to show you guys her new feeding um, and how she's going to do on that. So she definitely knows that there's food in the area, and she loves to explore. So there's that happening. Um, I really want to get her not like right there, so. And I don't want to get bit by feeding a response either, so we'll just set her right here. I don't know why she's active like that. We'll go ahead and we'll feed her. There we go. So that was actually a pretty calm uh, feeding response. 
which is perfect. And we'll just see how this, this works out because this is the largest meal that I have ever given her. And just kind of hoping for the best. So let me just cut this out real quick, close that up, and then we'll just go down the line and uh, keep feeding. Okay, moving on. So now that we've got the Argentine uh, her meal, we will go ahead and we will feed this very large rat right here to the common boa, which she is in the back, and this girl is a uh, very, very strong feeder. And I don't know if that's gonna... So there we go. She's... Yeah, I would, I would be afraid to <laughs> get a feeding or a spice bite from her. And she's, she's an amazing eater though. And well, they're all boas, so we know that is definitely a good thing. Now this girl right here, you can see she's all up on the glass, ready, ready to go. And we're gonna feed her a large as well. So this is just a regular um, albino. Kind of slipped a little bit off of the tonks feeding her, but she'll be okay. And we'll pan back around here to look at Pop Tart. Why are you trying to eat it from the butt first? It should probably be a lot, probably be a lot easier uh, eating it the other way. And so I got out. A medium for the ghost and I might have even I don't know I might have pulled the wrong rats out of the wrong bag because there's no way that these are mediums I mean if they could be I guess but we'll go ahead we'll feed the ghost very calm eater but she could definitely eat something a little bit larger than that so um, we have two left, and let me turn on the lights for the motley that is in here that she shed out. And this is going to be a pain with these stupid Christmas lights. But we'll feed her this one. We'll see what happens. Got to give her some new water. This the autofocus on this is definitely strange on this camera. But there we go. We'll feed her. And all right. So her water dish was kind of gross. So. Um, Took that out, gotta clean that, and then we'll feed her a meal. That was a that was a strong strike. So a little bit of blood, so I'll clean this up when she gets done eating. But it's a pearl Burmese. She's eating every 10 to 14 days. Appropriate meal size, I would say. Um, I might bump up a little bit more than that next time. But so far, no issues with her, and everybody is happy, so. Pop-Tart has rearranged herself uh, to the front of the rat now, which is probably a lot easier. And we'll just set this down really quickly. Eh, maybe not. This doesn't have like a really high, uh, like telescopic uh, tripod, but the ghost is already eating which is fantastic, the albino. I do apologize for the glare, I really don't wanna take the glass down too much and disturb her. And then of course the, the common is still fully wrapped around the rat, so. Hungry, hungry snakes. And I'm feeding, I'm feeding all of the regular boas 
about every two to three weeks now since they are on barges, which is what most people say to do. And you can tell when they're starting to get a little bit hungry because they do, uh, uh, they do get a very, they get a little agitated it seems. But we'll watch her for a little bit and then we'll go back and we'll just finish off with the uh, anaconda. All right, we're getting right down to the end of it with Pop-Tart and she is definitely, uh, I wouldn't say she's struggling, but that is definitely a very, very open to mouth and definitely stretching her scales out. But, you know, it's not a crazy size. I, I, I do see people feeding anacondas three times the size of this meal. Um, so she shouldn't have any issues. I, you guys know how I am with, uh, on how I am with one with feeding and, and getting nervous about them as they get older and growing up and having, um, issues with, uh, just different types of, um, kidney, heart failure, you know, too fatty and stuff like that. But I really think that might just be her new meal size from now on which is crazy because she's not even you know she's barely three years old so will be three in like a month and then this ghost is still working on her rat right now and i i think i think she'll be okay um if i feed her in two weeks on a bigger meal but definitely gonna wait till she fully digests it's just a gorgeous animal. I love the ghosts. Uh, I like a lot of the stuff that is added into the ghosts. So I do believe once you throw in the albino, you get the uh, the moon glows, if I'm correct, or the snow, one or the other, because I don't think these are the, yeah, these are the hypo. So you get the moon glows. So it's an anery and a hypo, and if you throw in the, Albino, you get the the moon, and uh, she's eating that very very well. So, not to take up too much of your guys' time or day or Christmas, but we can see this girl definitely has a lump. So, she will mosey her way back into the cage, and she'll probably just sit in her water dish for a while. And I do need to clean out her water dish again. So. Anacondas are known to be very dirty. Um, they go to the bathroom consistently in their water. So it's not uncommon for a snake to have multiple bowel movements uh, throughout the week. Um, definitely they pee a lot. And like if it was any other boa or a ball python and they were going to the bathroom consistently, I would be a little concerned, but from what I told it is uh, completely normal. So we just gotta go with that and she is pretty much done with that rat. It's pretty cool on how they eat them. Personally, <clears throat> personally I do like to, to watch them and you can see her, her teeth right there, which is crazy. So hope you guys are enjoying the Christmas day, the Christmas weekend. And these girls are definitely full uh the berm has not even tried to eat yet she's not tried to eat yet the other ones are still working on their food i'm shocked on how quickly uh the anaconda finished her meal compared to the other bigger boas they normally take at least 20 ish minutes and this anaconda probably took that down in less than i mean from from wrapping to finished i don't know maybe just a couple of minutes which is crazy so we'll see what we'll see how that rat that large rat does with her um it might make her go into shed sooner than expected which is awesome so done rambling i know you guys uh are here for the animals and not really me consistently talking and talking and talking but enjoy the day enjoy your holidays and i appreciate the support moving on into 2022 uh very excited about that 
I appreciate you guys so much on subscribing, supporting the channel. I'll see you guys on the next video.